A couple of customers have asked me recently about the new characterization tool in Motion Builder 2012. Uh, either they've been on an older version of Motion Builder or they've seen the Maya version and just want to compare it to the Motion Builder version. And the nice thing about the 2012 version of Motion Builder as well as Maya is that the characterization tool as well as the character controls are exactly the same. But uh, several people have asked, so I, so I wanted to walk through how the setup occurs inside of Motion Builder. Uh, in this case, we've got our character that's been brought over from Maya, and you can see that uh, she just has her skinning uh, set up on her. It's just a bound character. There's no uh, naming template, or at least not present in the scene. And you can see that the hips inside the name match, the hips and all the required joints are not defined. So if we go to our figure tab inside the characterization tool, you can see that we get a big red stop sign. So the first step in creating a character is actually clicking on this little orange and yellow star button and that actually gives you a character uh, as part of your scene and we can click on the blue button here and rename the character if we want we can just call this one opera singer and we'll click on OK and from here uh, the process of matching the the joints to the characterization joints is just a matter of double clicking on in this case the hips and then clicking on the joint in the scene. If I want I can click on the left forearm and then click on the arm in the scene and you can see that not only do I get the match between the two but I also have mirroring turned on uh, using this button and it looks for the corresponding joint on the other side of the character. If we go to the name match tab you can see that now those joints have been filled in or identified with the joints on my character and they correspond to the required naming of the joints inside the, the characterization tool. So if we go back to the figure, uh, I still have the red stop sign and down in the validation status you can see that we're just missing required bones. So a couple of things will happen. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and characterize our character using a mapping template. So I'm going to go to the blue button and click on the edit map bones and it brings up an apply template window and under the template menu there is uh, a pull down button that allows me to go in and select from a set of preset templates. Now earlier I characterized this character and then exported this template. The cool thing about this window is uh, this folder shares uh, a folder with Maya so you can apply the same template to in either location. So I'll click on the Opera Singer and I'm going to clear out my match all jo joints prefix or bones prefix and click OK and right away you can see that all of my bones are now populated. I get a name match uh, with all of the different joints, even the extra ones that I had identified like the fingers. So you can imagine that if uh, I worked in a facility that had uh, a common set of joint names, I would be able to extract that naming template once and then reuse that over and over again. Now if for some reason I had a character that was slightly out of position, you can see I get this yellow warning sign or caution sign and it tells me that in this case the left arm doesn't seem to be parallel to the x-axis and so that's easy enough to straighten out and then we get a green light or a green uh, indicator saying that we're ready to go. From there all we have to do is click the uh, lock button and it will ask you what kind of character you want. In this case we have a biped and now my character is ready to be either retargeted or in this case we can go to our control rig and tell Motion Builder we want to create an FKIK rig instead of an IK only rig and we're all set to go. From there we can go to our character controls, click on full body, uh, the full body mode. We've got the choice of different display modes whether we want just the controllers or the joints alone or both and we can pull that character around just using any of the controls that we're used to using full body IK. A couple of other things that we've done is uh, if you look at the control rig section we can change the rig look from stick to wire or we can also go in and change it to box. So that just changed the, changes the draw style of the joints that are part of that character. So that is just a quick walk on how you go about setting up a character inside of Motion Builder 2012. Again, this interface matches exactly what you see inside of Maya and it just enables you to work in the Entertainment Creation Suite or in a facility that has both Maya and Motion Builder and go back and forth without having to worry about learning a different set of tools. Alright, thanks a lot.